One thing that sort of hit me, uh, you know, doing the paper and preparing for the talk is just the uh, sort of the, the inertia that's built in because of culture. I mean, uh, I mean again, I'm an economist. I'm, I deal with economic theory, and we're always taught about these breakthroughs in economic thought. You know, the marginalist revolution of about 100 years ago, uh, the neoclassical synthesis, starting, I guess, with Paul Samuelson in the late 40s. But these ideas go back, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of years. The idea of sort of independent, selfish actors, uh, you know, the idea of self-organizational systems. I mean, uh, you can find quotes going back literally 600, 800 years saying the same thing. I mean, we've cast the ideas in mathematical terms, in terms of testable hypothesis and all that, but it's just, you sort of peel back that veneer, and uh, these ideas have been there uh, for a long, long time. So, and that, I mean, that's, it's interesting and in sort of explaining why they hang on, but it's also kind of you know, depressing in a way that, uh, you know, that how do you get out of this system that we sort of uh, evolved into? Right, right. And uh, sort of economists, we think, of, okay, market economies changed everything, and, and they did, but some of these uh, ideas uh, go back even before there were organized markets. So. Right.